everyone you welcome back to ink sweet ladies place in today's class we're going to be illustrating this gown and here are the measurements we are going to be using for it so let's get started for you to determine the amount of fabric required you need twice your length plus your uh, emmy allowance all right so for this tutorial i use just about two and a half yard so first thing i'm going to do is to measure my length i'm working with length 40 plus one inch seam allowance that will be 41 i'll measure that 41 twice from my fabric then after that I'm just going to cut it out so the next thing you want to do is to fold it into two lengthwise just like this this is the length one will be for the front and the other for the back and then after that you fold it into four this way such that the upper part is going to be unfold this upper part will be unfold and then the center front and the center back will also be unfold then after that you lay it flat on a flat surface all right so let's take it again first this is the length you fold it into two it's folded into two such that the upper part is unfold then you fold it into four this way for this tutorial we're going to be cutting both the sleeve and the body together so first i'll measure my shoulder my shoulder is 16 divided by 2 that will be 8 i'll measure that 8 inches then from that 8 inches i'll measure my sleeve length my sleeve length is 17 so from the 8 inches point i'll measure 17 inches further for the sleeve length so from the starting point like from the beginning of the fabric i'll measure down my nipple point my waist length my hip line and of course we already have the length that we want i switched to this fabric because the shock wasn't showing on that other one so that's why i'm using this plain red so that we can see it clearly all right so after that you're going to extend all the points after that, the next thing is to input your circumference measurements and you're starting from this folded edge. So on your nipple point, you input your bust measurements divided by 4. Plus half inch is and 1 inch seam allowance. On the waistline, you input your waist measurements divided by 4 plus half inch is and then one inch seam allowance on the hip line you input your hip measurements divided by four plus half inch is and one inch seam allowance then whatever you have on this hip line you are going to minus one from it and put it at the M line Then after that, you connect the points together. You connect from waist to the nipple point. Then from the waist, you connect it to the hip line. Then from the hip line, you really straight to the M line. All right, so that's it. So the next thing you want to do from where your sleeve length stop, you're going to just roll it straight to the M line. After that, the next thing you will do is to connect from where your bust measurement stop on the nipple point. You connect it to the M line to join with the sleeve and say from here to the other hand. Alright, so after that, from that they are joining, you come down by half inch and then you just round your hand, the way I'm showing you here. Just round it so that that point is not going to be sharp. So just round it. Alright, so this is how it's looking. So the next thing you want to do now is to import the neck. So from the center, I'm going to measure 3.5 inches inward like this that's going to be the neck width 
then i'll measure 1.5 inches downward for the back neck depth then the front neck depth is going to be 3.5 so after that i'll connect the points together this is for the back Then this is for the front don't forget we are cutting both the front and the back together for this our style all right so this is back and then this is the front so the next thing you want to do from where the front neckline stop you measure three inches downward like this then you measure half inch inward from the center measure half inch inward this way so from that half inch point you connect it to that three inches point like a v kind of shape all right so the next thing is just to cut it out and then you cut the neckline first i cut on the back neck Please note after that you notch just notch the the point where the neck stop then you notch the center like this and then you notch the tip of where the sleeve stop like this these steps they are very important and if you notice I've not cut the front neckline yet so after that just bring out the one inside like I'm showing you now the one inside bring it out this way you have to do this step before you cut the front neckline so that you don't go and cut the both the front and the back neckline the same way all right so after bringing it out this is how it's going to look hope you can see it so ensure your notching uh matching properly that's the reason for notching it ensure the notch match each other very well so ensure the the notching on the sleeve match very well and the one on the neckline then after that you can see that is the center of the shoulder ensure your notches are intact and this is the back neckline that we already cut out so the next thing is to reshape the front neckline so you reshape the front neckline this way i hope it's clear if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section i will reply you all right so when that is done If you open it this is how it's going to look you can see the back neckline is just one and a half inches deep while the front neckline is very deep it's three and a half inches deep with a V you can see this is how the neck is going to look all right so I'm going to be showing you how you're going to sew it now you can see my notchings if you like you can cut facing to finish up the neckline but i'm just going to be using bias to finish the neckline so i'll start with the v part this front v part that's where i'm going to start from and i'll be using this white bias to finish up the neckline so that you can see what i'm doing clearly when making yours ensure you use a matching bias okay all right so i'm using this white so that what i'm doing can be very clear so first i'll start from the beginning of the v this way and i'll sew it till i get to the midway of the v when i get there i'll keep my needle in and i'll rotate the bias like this and make a small little tiny pleat 
you can see i use my scissors to do that plate because it's a very tiny little plate after that you now rotate the fabric and you continue sewing the bias till you get back to the other part of the v to the other starting point of the v All right, so when you are done, you cut off the excess bias. Then you are going to notch. You notch the center of the V. You notch it very close to the seam, but you will not cut your seam. So cut it very close to the seam this way. This will be easy for the bias to turn to the wrong side and it will be smooth on the right side. Alright, so you turn the bias to the wrong side of the fabric and then you top stitch it this way. All right, so I'm done with the V part. You can see how it looks. So the next thing is to finish the other round parts with the bias again. So you turn the fabric back to the right side and then you place the bias on top of it. You can see the way it is wrap half inch round the neck like i'm showing you like this can you see it yes you do it that way so just place the bias and wrap half inch around the neckline this way hope it's clear then after that you're going to stitch it all around the neckline so when you get back to uh, the other end you cut off the excess leaving half inch like this and then you wrap you wrap the half inch around the neckline again this way wrap it around it and then you finish the sewing can you see then after that you turn the bias to the wrong side and then you finish the neckline by top stitching the bias on the wrong side of the dress and that's it we are done with the neckline you can see this is how the neckline looks like you can see the V is very sharp and everything is looking nice and fine then from the right side from the right side this is how it looks can you see all right so the next thing you are going to be doing is to hem the bottom part of your gown i had it just one inch for emmy allowance so i'm going to just sew in that one inch so first you fold once and then you fold again and then you make your stitch you do it for both the front and the back don't forget the dress is cut together both the front and the back are cut together there there is no joining on the shoulder all right so when you're done aiming the bottom part you're going to also aim the sleeve i'm starting from the very beginning of the sleeve and i'll sew it across till i get back to the other end of the sleeve when you're done with one sleeve you do the same thing to the second sleeve all right so after that the next thing is to so close the side of your dress i added just one inch for the seam allowance so i'm just going to sew the side close with that one inch seam allowance then after that the point where the sleeve join with the body you are going to notch it you notch it very close to the seam but you will not cut your seam you do the same thing for the two sides 
that point where the body joined with the sleeve, you notch it. And that's it. You can see this is how my dress look on me. It's so beautiful and I love it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.